Hi everybody and welcome back to Reeves Workshop. In this video I'm going to show you how I put my voice box overlay in my Knight Rider dash. All right guys, so um I have uh the dash in my uh, garage and um I used a, a silver sharpie and um Basically the same way as I did the uh, the dashboard grills. I uh, put the voice box overlay over where I believe it's gonna look uh, decent. There's actually um, right here, you can see there's a, the, the crease where I, uh, where I drew the line here. So this is where the voice box is gonna sit over here and up here. And uh, so this is where the voice box is going to where it's gonna go. So I placed the voice box there, traced it here, um, traced it on those, uh, those um, teeth right there, and then on the bottom, did the same thing. So it's right about, right about over here actually. So, so that, that's basically where the, uh, the voice box is gonna go. I'll have to, uh, it's actually looking pretty good just like that. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna end up drilling it out and then um, very, very carefully using a Dremel and a, and a, and a file um, and very, very slowly opening up the, um, the opening. So basically, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll, uh, I'll cut and Dremel this out and then I'll file it that way uh, the voice box will fit nice and snug in here and um, this is going to be nice and flush with this. And uh, in the meantime, we're also gonna be possibly working on the countdown, because I have that also. But uh, this is what we're gonna be working on um, uh, right now, actually. So that's what we got. Okay, so here's the uh, voice box overlay installed. Uh, once again, this voice box overlay came from Night Industries of Kentucky. And um, after it's been drilled out in each corner, use the air saw to cut the um, opening and then use a Dremel to smoothen it out and make a nice um, uh, um, snug fit. So now I'm going to be using, see. I'm going to be using um, this uh, Bondo glass. A friend of mine at work recommended that I use this here because this has fiberglass um, uh, pieces in it for a, a better um, uh, fit than the regular bondo so we got that but um we just have a little bit of um a sanding to do just to make the uh this side here of the dash flush with the voice box but um that's on that side there you know i, I want the, i want this to be perfect because this is this is my favorite it's so my favorite dash of, uh, of the whole series so i'll show you this here this is where the uh the countdown is going to go and I cut this all the way open to make the countdown flush with the top of the dash. So we got that, and uh, I'll flip it around to show you the inside. Okay, and this is the inside of the dash. Um, as you can see, the uh, the epoxy that I used here. So um, put my phone down a minute. So now, obviously, it was a matter of tracing, you know, this um, edge up here and this on the bottom. And then it's also very important to know not to uh, not to trace um, this edge, but this one over here, because as you can see here, I had to trim this down a little bit to to make it fit nice and snug into the dashboard. So fortunately, I didn't have to uh, worry about um, these here, but um, but this tab over here, I had to sand down a bit to make it fit uh, nice and snug in there. But all the other ones. Um, you know we're uh, we're good so I, I traced um you know these uh these tabs here and not these over here so we have this here and so that's how it looks on the inside and i used um this uh this epoxy here this gorilla plastic epoxy it's a five minute set time so uh that worked out nicely i still have more left in here but um, I mean, I just, as you can see, like, 
I mean, I just put a whole bunch of it on there because um, when it comes time to put the uh, the um, voice box electronics in, um, we're gonna have to um, put the uh, the labels in from the back and lightly tap them in place. So we we have to make sure this is nice and really really tight in there. That way, when when we tap the labels in, the voice box overlay doesn't fall off. But that's that. This is where the uh, the uh, countdown's gonna go. Let me flip it back over. But yeah, that's basically it as far as uh, getting the the uh, voice box overlay installed. Um, next, like I said, we'll be using the uh, the Dura Glass, and I'll I'll put a link in the description for this. I picked this up at Home Depot, so I'll put a link in the description for this, and I'll put a link in the description for for this year. I got this at Walmart, so. So uh, next step was going to be using the bond. Uh, actually, the next step is going to be um, smoothing out these these uh, sides here and all the other um, areas, and then putting the the bondo glass on, and then sanding. And we're also going to be using the bondo glass on the speaker grills where there's a little bit of scuff marks. So the bondo glass is going to go over here too. So that's the next step in this process. And so please check out that video about um, putting the speaker grills in the dash because drilling and cutting the hole open for the speaker grills is the same process that I used for the uh, voice box overlay. But anyways, if you like that video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Until the next one, take care.